Welcome back everyone. It's Andre from BMW Auto House and today I have behind me a 2022 BMW iX. I'm going to show you every single button that this car has. Come check it out. All the buttons on this 2022 BMW iX. Here we go, starting off with the key. We've got the unlock, we've got the lock button, we've got the trunk, and the panic. The lock also doubles as the remote engine starter. If you click it three times, one, two, three, it'll remotely start the engine. You can also hold the lock button to close all the windows. You can also hold the unlock button to roll down all the windows. And in a few moments, I'm gonna show you how to access the mechanical key that is hidden in here. In case the remote ever dies, you can still get into your vehicle and start it. Of course, a very unique button here. We've got the windshield washer cap. Will only open if the car is unlocked. Let's go to the charging port. We've got your regular AC and your DC. We can also flick it with one action. The door handles here are comfort access. So with a tap here, we'll lock the car. You can also put your hand underneath the handle to unlock the vehicle. And if the battery is ever dead and you cannot electronically get inside the vehicle, there's a little tab right in here that if you push, you can access the mechanical door release. So that's more for like emergency situations. That little tab is on every single door, but on the driver door is the spot where you can put the mechanical key, which I'm going to show you in a few moments how to do. In the back, of course, we've got the button to release the trunk. Of course, you can also kick open and kick close your trunk. So what buttons do we have here? We've got the closing trunk, very easy. Folding the rear seats down with one click, that's neat. And you also have the emergency release. If the electronic trunk does not work, you can still mechanically open it. We're gonna get inside the back and check out all the buttons in the rear seating. We've got the passenger window, we've got the door release, it's electronic. And if this should ever not work, you have the mechanical release. This is situated on literally every single door. And that is great if it can't open up the door electronically, you can always mechanically get out. Now we have here the travel package where you can insert certain travel accessories. We've got your climate control, your heated seat, automatic control, your temperature control, the fan speed, and the direction of the air. Also turn your max AC on or off. Up on top we've got the hidden coat hanger. And in the back we've got the lighting controls for the vehicle and for the readers. These can actually tilt also. You can tilt them in any way. That's really neat. Inside the front, we're gonna show you all the buttons here. Starting with the opening and closing of the trunk. So we can open and close the trunk from here. We've got your door child locks in the back because the doors are electronic. We've got the individual windows. We've got the folding mirrors at the top here. And we can also adjust the left or the right mirror. And you use these arrows to adjust. On the side here, we've got these beautiful crystal um, buttons here, which are superb looking. So what do we have here? We've got the seat setting, so you can set your seat memory, set one and two. And this is also a quick way to access the driver's seat menu. You can activate the driver massage. You can set up for the uh, set automatically for the driver profiles. Now, um, I'm gonna go through every single feature in the iDrive in a few moments. If you'd like to see that video, uh, we're gonna show you all the features in the iDrive in just a few moments. We're gonna go back to the buttons here. We've got the seating controls. You can go front, back, up, and down, just like your regular seating. 
You've got the door release, it's electronic. And when you open up the door, the car does shut off. And then we've got the lock unlock. And on the bottom here, we've got the lighting setting. So if you click this, there's no more knobs or buttons to click. You click this here and it takes you to the iDrive where you can then set up your lights and and such. You can also switch between your low beam and your automatic headlights. And you can also turn off your headlights. Then we've got the turning stock. This also doubles as your high beam, which is really nice. And it's got the automatic high beam, which I love. Now on the steering wheel, we've got the cruise control. So we can turn on cruise. We can set the speed. Uh, you can adjust your speed and you can switch between two modes. You've got the mode for the steering and the mode just for the stop and go cruise control. So you can alternate through there. And then on the right, we've got, um, this actually doubles as a few things. So you've got your entertainment controls here. We've got your volume, your answering, hang up the phone, the microphone for your voice commands and change from radio to Bluetooth or your CarPlay. Now, this is new here. Uh, the toggle, you can scroll up, up and down. We can also click uh, left and right, and that gives you some information in the head-up display there, if you can see that. So we can switch between Bluetooth and media radio. We can switch between Sirius XM and such. Now, another cool thing that this has is if you click this little gear here, it allows you to customize the content that is displayed in the middle of the screen here and you can also choose between the layout do you want like a sportier layout a more uh, conservative layout and such and you can also change the head-up display how do you want the head-up display to look do you want it to show navigation do you want it to show uh, specific information there you can alternate through that right there I'll just show you here so we've got the assisted view reduced view now like I said I'm gonna go through all these features in a moment but that's what these buttons do here I'm gonna show you the rest right now and now on the right stock we've got the turning signal we also have the automatic front windshield wiper. Just click it up once for the, the green light to flash. My camera can't pick it up too well. Uh, one more click up is the speed and then one more click is the speed. So th there's only three modes, fast, medium, automatic, and off. And I guess four if you wanna consider the one time, one time clear. And we also have the rear windshield uh, wiper. We can turn it on or off. The line is gonna show you if it's on or off. And you can also splash the back windshield and splash the front windshield by pulling the stock forward. Now, this panel here has a lot of buttons and they're all accessed by just clicking them. So what do we have here? We've got the home. This will take you to the home screen of the iDrive. Then we've got the media button, telephone, navigation, your back button, you've got your iDrive dial here, your joystick controller, you can turn it, you can click it left and right, you can click it up and down, you can also push in the middle, and believe it or not, this is also touch, so when you have to enter a specific navigation address or a phone number, you can literally just write on here, that is really cool. We also have the volume, scrolling up and down, you can also click it to mute, we've got your next and previous tracks, we also have here the, your air suspension. You can raise up the car if you have to uh, clear something. Uh, you click it to go up, and then you click it to go back to its regular driving mode. We've got here the quick access for certain settings in your vehicle. So instead of fishing through the whole menu, by quickly clicking that button, it'll take me to the driver assistance section, the drivetrain and chassis, and your charging. So if you click these, it'll actually go into the, sp the specific menu where you can make more adjustments. That's just a quick way how to access that. Uh, we also have the parking camera button. This will activate the parking sensor button with one click. But if you hold it, it'll start recording with the drive recorder, which we'll show you in a few moments through the iDrive system here. Then the last button here is my modes. This will also quickly take you to the iDrive screen where you can choose what type of mode you want. And these are just uh, selections of driving modes. So you can have sport 
where the car is more sporty, it's more aggressive. You can also even go to the settings and customize your sport. So maybe you want the dampening for the suspension to be more comfortable rather than sport and everything else sport, you can come here and customize them. The other buttons we have here is the auto hold. Love that feature, holds the brake when you come to a full stop. Your parking brake. This is your gear selector, your start and stop. So we can start the engine through there. If you want to put the car in park without shutting off the vehicle, we simply go to neutral first, then put on the handbrake, and it's going to go to park automatically. So I'm just going to show you here so you see the dial, so we're in drive. I'm going to go to neutral, and then I'm going to click that parking brake, which puts me into park. So these are all the buttons here. Then we've got the button for the armrest here. That's really neat. You've got your wireless charging here, and you also have a spot to put your cell phone. That's nice. There's even a hole so you can plug it in if you need to. Now going to the ceiling, the roof of the vehicle, we have the BMW Assist, your SOS button. We've got your interior lights for the entire vehicle. We've got the reading lights. We also have the sunroof adjustment here so you can make it opaque or you can make it see-through which is really clear so I'll show you here with the Sun and then we're gonna so this is off it's see-through mode and then we turn it on and it just makes it completely um, opaque so you can actually look at the Sun without hurting your eyes that's not the purpose but it's meant to block out some sun rays from there this is the uh, sensor for the uh, gesture controls and then we also have the interior camera that is pretty cool because you can take interior selfies with you and your family and friends that's neat on the passenger side we've got the same buttons as the driver door no differences there you've got the button for the glove box here and then we have a couple of buttons here for the hazard light and the front and rear defrost and just a couple last buttons we've got the garage door opener buttons here three individual buttons that's really nice and let's not forget the rear cup holders. I didn't forget. I'm gonna show you how to access that mechanical key in here. So on the back, we've got one little button. We're gonna click it. And at the same time, we're gonna pull apart this metal piece. Simply slide out the entire metal piece. Comes apart very easily. And the mechanical key in here, you gotta be careful. Don't just pull it up. We're gonna swivel it out and then pull it out. Now we're gonna take the mechanical key and, and insert it in that little lock which I showed you just a few moments ago. So now we're gonna push on this tab here, pull it out just a little bit to reveal the cylinder where we can now insert the key and actually physically turn the lock. And we can get inside the car even if your key has died. And to put the key back, there's a hole right in the middle of the key that we're going to insert in that little hole there. So we're gonna put the key right in there on an angle, make sure that center hole lines up and slide the key back in, perfect. And we're gonna put the cap back on. There's a little tab on the bottom here that we want to put in first. And then just click closed. That's it. So there you have it. Those were all the buttons on the BMW iX. Now, if there were any buttons which I have missed or have overlooked, please comment them below. We'd love to hear it. And if you like this video and want to see more, subscribe, click that bell notification, and check us out for some more BMW videos.